Um, did the, sh the series got canceled and, and before the syndication deal, or how did that come about? It got canceled by NBC. Um, the guy at um, MGM, who was head of MGM at the television at the time, who I, his name now just escapes me. I can picture him, I can't remember his name. Uh, he went out to a bunch of cities, big cities, Chicago, San Francisco, New York, big markets, and uh, put together a structure to deal where that would be uh, syndicated and uh, sponsor time would be bartered in terms of local and national and this, that, and the other thing. And when he came back, uh, we had uh, the third season, uh, which was, it went together well. We did some good shows in the third season. Cut back a little on money, but I don't think you, you saw it on, on screen at all. I, I think it was, was judiciously done. Do you think it remained popular? Or? Yeah, it remained popular. It did, absolutely did. Was this un, sort of unheard of at the time, or semi-unheard It was semi-unheard of? Semi of, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, um, I mean, syndication has now almost gone away in terms of our shows and whatnot, but for a time, it was a, a very viable other avenue to go down. What was the relationship like uh, with the real school and the show? Cordial. Uh, certainly not uh, anything but. We weren't doing a documentary. We couldn't do everything that they did um, in terms of... Uh, kids and stuff like that, because uh, we were doing a television show. I mean, uh, Erica Gimple, who played Coco, a sweet kid, very, very talented, uh, smile that'll break your heart, was also very, very idealistic, which I applaud, uh, which also led her into being very, very unrealistic. And so she'd be looking, well, you know, at the school, back at the school, we did so-and-so and so-and-so. And, -so and, -so. and I'd say, I don't, I don't have that set. I don't have that flag. I can't afford to do that. It sounds great. And I would send my kid there in a heartbeat. But we can't do it. And I know she felt if I just tried a little harder, I could have done it. Somehow. At one point, she came in and said, Have you ever seen what it says over the MGM logo? I said, What? And she said, It says, Art Gracia Artis. Art for art's sake. And I said, That's a motto. Do you know the difference between a motto and an oath? <laughs> And she, we just we agreed to disagree. I like her a lot, and she was a, a sweet girl. Still is. Um, uh, when the show was first on, this was the beginning of the MTV era. Was there a powerful um, influence of MTV on our fame? If there was, and I'm sure there was, I fought it because I'm not an MTV guy. I mean, I the third year I brought in a classical singer, a soprano. I thought, <laughs> you, you want to talk about an idea that did not fly? Uh, and she was a good singer and a pretty good actress and had a kind of a very sweet appeal to her. But uh, that, those, the, the Reese Stevens days are, are gone.